Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habatu fillah The question was asked Here in India companies take out some money of employee from the employee each month as mandatory At the end of retirement it is given back with interest money accumulated on it Is it permissible to take the interest on it? Some scholars of Dioband here say that it's permissible What is the correct answer? Uh, the second question, someone having a continuous gas problem, uh, so much so that all of his prayers or his salat uh, needs to be repeated multiple times. He doesn't get the satisfaction when he prays if his wudu is broken. So he has to do wudu multiple times to offer a prayer, barakallah fikum. Uh, first and foremost, in the first uh, question, <clears throat> the Diobundi view that some of those Diobandi scholars are mentioning is probably in accordance with uh, the madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi rahmatin wasiya. However, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best that the correct view that even if you accept that, some of the scholars mention accepting that, that interest, uh, but however that you cannot use it for khair like building a masjid or for uh, you know, for giving, uh, you know, anything which you expect adjur from it. You cannot build a masjid with it, but if you give it to the fuqara, it's better than letting uh, it go back to the company or going back to uh, the disbelievers. So that you should use it, uh, take the money, and spend it, but it is not something that you will receive reward. You are spending it in order to get rid of this harmful money even if it benefits someone else and as far as the second question <clears throat> the uh, the person who has what is called uh, you find this in the books of fiqh uh, salasil al-bol which is the continuous uh, when a person continuously uh, you know they have a sickness where they're urinating often there's all you know continual urination you know, for example, someone who has a catheter in, you know, in their private parts, a kramakma law, or for their, uh, <clears throat> you know, for a dialysis or something like this. Uh, and, or a person, as you mentioned, has gas, the person who has gas or something like this, then this takes, is the hukum uh, or the ruling of salasalabol, of the person who has continual urine, urine which is a type of sickness. Likewise, even a woman who has, uh, <clears throat> who's mustahava, uh, she has istihava, meaning that she has irregular bleeding, which is considered a sickness and is not considered uh, from her menstruation. It's considered a, a type of sickness. So this person, and there's many evidences for this, but uh, this person that they should uh, make wudu for every salat, as is in the hadith. I believe it is uh, the hadith of uh, Bint Abi Talha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, and she asked the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about uh, istihada, and the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said that she should make wudu for every salat. So letting us know that for this, uh, regarding this, that the person who does this, even if they pass gas, because it's out of their control, it's, you know, they still have to pray, and say if they make wudu, and one minute later they're breaking it. This is a person who's continually like that. That means every couple of minutes, maybe they're breaking their wudu, maybe they're going to break their wudu during their prayer. They make wudu for every salat. That, that's it. Because it's out of their control. So even if they break their wudu during the prayer, their prayer, uh, you know, or if they break their wudu after the, uh, sorry, you know, if they, the hukum is that they, because it's a continual action, so yeah, they will break the wudu during the prayer, they just continue praying. So just for every salat, they must make wudu. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala Muhammad, wa ala alayhi wa sallam.